Hey what's up guys this is Sohan and you are watching Technical Spark. Guys this is our second video on the endpoint security. Okay here I'll be demonstrating you how exactly the ENS uh, workflow will be. And guys this is quick video and I will not take much of your time in exploring these things. Okay so this is my workflow guide. Perfect. So as you could see in the console uh, here you are okay as an administrator. And if you could check out on the EPO console, the content packages from Telex Lab is automatically get delivered to your EPO. Okay. And special the Amcore engineer, even you, you have checked in your endpoint security pack, you know, software or not, the Amcore engine is automatically getting deployed on your EPO server. Amcore engineer is something like your DAT file. Okay. Apart from that, on the EPO server, if you want to use an uh, endpoint security product on the EPO console, you will have to install certain extensions. Okay, it's like your threat prevention, firewall, web control, as well as the adaptive threat prevent protection. So this is something optional. Okay, optional means you will have to buy it separately. I'm not sure on the licensing part, but yeah, as per my base knowledge, this has to be purchased separately. Okay, once all these extensions are uh, checked in, then you will be able to configure your endpoint security product on the EPO console. Okay, and it gives the ability to you know uh, view the things on the dashboard as well as the queries and reports. So these are the uh, reports is automatically get pops up as soon as you check in the extension, and then your actual work begins like configuration, agent deployment. So these are just the extension okay but you also need to import the packages have you ever checked then there's a dxl is also present dxl basically works with thai server guys thai means threat intelligence exchange this one so basically uh, this particular endpoint security protects your system based on the signatures okay as well as the machine learning but when you integrate your thai server also of course you would require additional license okay then what happens uh, Ties, uh, your Telex agent communicates with Ty very quickly, which means is there anything new file comes to your system, and uh, if the agent didn't know what exactly that reputation of that particular file, then uh, your Telex agent is automatically getting connected to the Ty server and Ty validate in their database. If the Ty also didn't know anything, then it get connected to the cloud where the Telex Global Threat Intelligence as well as Telex Labs are present. So those provide the kind of a sandboxing, okay, where the metadata is validated of the file. And then as soon as you get the reputation of this file, it's communicate to the EPO server and EPO server communicate to the agents. And accordingly, you are that particular file will be actioned based on the policy which you have configured here. So now we are going to check in depth how exactly things are work, but I'm not sure about the tie whether I'm going to include this series or not because at the license matter right but I'll try to cover and once you are done with all these things like your packet check-in and the policy configuration you are good with the deployment of Trelix endpoint security agents okay where you can choose what are the things are required majorly uh, customers are deploy agent on the you know endpoint security agent on the machine that will be your security platform threat prevention and web control okay and if you have the license then yes it's definitely adaptive threat prevention and if i talk about the firewall then uh, uh, so far the implementation i have done 100 out of 98 people don't use firewall okay because to manage this firewall you would require expertise i will you know uh, let you know how the things works in the practical video but yeah that is the case so I guess uh, now you have to have understood how exactly endpoint uh, endpoint security workflow is going to be work in your environment. So in the next video I will show you how exactly you can download the Trellix software using your grant number or from the software center step by step, and then we'll check in those package into the EPU and start configuring. Okay. So I guess this would be good. So with this. I'll just wrap up this video and we'll connect in the next video and if in case if you are new on my channel then don't forget to subscribe and click on the like button if you like this content okay so that's it in this video this is Sohan signing out I'll catch you in the next video till then bye bye